One video just proved Roy Moore's innocence. Alabama Republican Roy Moore has been the victim of a smear campaign by the swamp and liberal media. He has been bombarded by accusations and press stories in an attempt to destroy his chances for the Senate, but one video just proved his innocence. Beverly Nelson accused Moore of sexually assaulting her when she was 16 years old. Her evidence of this was a yearbook inscription she claims he made while she was working at a diner he frequented. Moore and others noted the signature was likely a forgery because the date was written in a different handwriting in the DA notations uh, after his name. DA were the initials of his assistant where uh, when he signed Nelson's divorce decree in 1999. In 1977, uh, Moore was just the assistant district attorney. So it made no sense for him to have put D.A. after his name. After weeks of insisting the signature was a forgery, Moore was finally vindicated when Nelson admitted on ABC News that she had doctored the signature. She claimed she only added the date and the location to the inscription, but her entire story is now worthless since, na since we know she was not telling the complete truth when she made her initial accusations. ABC News Politics, Beverly Young Nelson, one of the women accusing GOP Senate candidate Roy Moore of sexual misconduct, tells at GMA it sickens her to think what might happen if Moore mm -hmm. is elected. Okay, but that doesn't, doesn't have her saying that... Uh, against me. It sickens me to wonder what, what may go on with him if he gets into office, maybe, you know. He, he could be doing this still. We don't know. And then again, I hope that he's changed. This morning, Beverly Young Nelson, sitting down exclusively with GMA. She was 16 when she says Moore groped her and tried to force a sex act on her in his car. He was trying to pull me toward in between his legs. It was terrible. And I was bound and determined that I was not going to be raped by him. You know, I, I was terrified. But the next thing I know, I'm on the concrete. These allegations are completely false. They're malicious. Specifically, I do not know any of these women, nor have I engaged, have I ever engaged in sexual misconduct with any woman. Moore's supporters have called Nelson a liar, even compared her to a criminal since she first spoke out about three weeks ago. That really hurt me, you know. Uh, God knows, and Roy know, knows, and I know what happened. Young's proof that she knew more? Her yearbook with this inscription. But Moore and his supporters have called into question that inscription, noting the writing under the signature appears to be different. Let's look at Beverly Nelson. Everybody knows her yearbook is a forgery. Nelson says she did make notes to the inscription, but the message was all Roy Moore. Beverly, he signed your yearbook. He did sign it. And you made some notes underneath. Yes. Nelson says this is not about politics. She voted for Donald Trump, but can't understand the decision some Republicans are making. What do you think about the Republicans that say they believe people like you, but they'd rather have a Republican in that seat? than a Democrat. Is the party more important, really, than what what happened? I feel like my incident is being just swept under the rug, literally, because he's a Republican. Now, Nelson's lawyer, Gloria Allred, says she's going to host a news conference later today to show further proof that Moore indeed knew his client. Roy Moore, for his part, had denied all accusations of sexual misconduct. Robin. And Tom, as you know, a quote from Moore is getting a lot of attention on so social media for the way he responded when asked when was the last time America was great. That's right. The quote comes from an L.A. Times news story, and it was during a campaign event back in September. Now, Moore was reportedly asked when the last time he thought America was great, and he said this quote. We can put it up there on the screen. According to the L.A. Times, he said, I think it was great at the time when families were united. Even though we had slavery, they cared for one another. Our families were strong. Our country had a direction. 
So last night I asked the campaign, why did he invoke slavery? Why was he talking about slavery when he said the last time America was great? The campaign tells me he was talking about the time right after the American Revolution when families were united and the country had a direction. He, of course, opposes slavery. Robin? No. Oh, well, that wasn't such a good quote anyway. ABC News reports Beverly Young Nelson will have a news conference later today. In this interview, she indicated that she added the date lo slash location to the yearbook, but maintains the signature is Roy Moore's. Polls show Roy Moore with a low single-digit lead. He rebounded after voters saw through the politically motivated accusations and realized this was nothing more than a hit job against a Christian conservative. We will keep you up to date on any new developments in this case and uh, again how could you she now she admits because they uh, all red wasn't allowing uh, somebody to look at the uh, signature to verify it okay and then because they were called out on it she actually um, she actually did uh, admit to changing the date and and uh, slash uh, location so to speak whatever so what makes you believe her now her story is knocked out of the uh, knocked out of the water actually from that let me know what you guys think in the comments below and again thank you so much for watching